Hello, everyone. My name is Wan Xin Shi. Uh, I'm a PhD candidate at Tsinghua University. And today I'm going to introduce our work, RFBM. And this is a joint work with my colleagues at Tsinghua University and TBSI, and advised by um, teachers Qing Li, Long Haozhou, Pei Zhang, and uh, Yong Jiang. Uh, we are pleased that our manuscript is accepted by uh, the web conference. And well, I will present our work by introducing the related work and motivation, uh, design of ARFBM and experiments as well as conclusion. Um, to be clear, there is a brief introduction of existing works. Um, Generally, uh, ABR algorithms uh, may like a global view and be over dependent on the accurate estimation uh, of available bandwidth. Uh, so it's necessary to uh, provide other methods to assist ABR uh, like transcoding and prefetching. Um, however, uh, it's difficult to widely deploy uh, the online transcoding function as a lightweight edge. Um, as for prefetching, um, it consumes additional bandwidth, um, which may be a waste of transmission resources if the prefetched content is not used. Uh, besides, although cache schemes are used for, uh, they still have disadvantages. Um, for example, um, cache miss may still occur due to the limited storage space, um, while cache hit may also bring bit rate oscillation. Um, therefore, we hope to optimize video transmission by um, fully utilizing the edge cache. Uh, we propose the learning-based fuzzy bit rate matching at the edge for adaptive video streaming. Um, before diving into uh, the detail of RFBM, we firstly uh, give an illustration on the motivation of our design. Um, oh, well, as we know, uh, the dash client chooses the representations according to the uh, perceived throughput without considering the cache states at the edge. Uh, so uh, the client requests a high bitrate level under cache it and it turns to a low one under uh, cash, uh, under cash miss, uh, as the left figure shows, um, this is bitrate oscillation. Uh, consequently, the continuous bitrate oscillation uh, destroys user experience. Um, to avoid uh, the bitrate oscillation and verify uh, the feasibility of utilizing the substitute contents. Here we define a concept named virtual hit. Virtual hit. Um, it indicates uh, the situation, uh, the situation that the edge uh, responds to clients with other bitrate levels um, instead of the requested one. Uh, you know, uh, it can be con con concluded that uh, virtual hit contributes to cache hit, uh, as the right figure shows. Uh, besides, if more representations are cached for the same content, it will bring more real hit. Um, therefore, we propose the LFBM for adaptive video streaming. Um, in following, I'm going to introduce the architecture of RFBM, uh, the throughput prediction, and the intelligent response. Um, firstly, uh, let's have a look at the reinforcement learning edge. Um, the base layer defines the fundamental functions of the edge server. Um, and the decision layer makes the decision of how to respond based on the information collected from the record layer. Uh, regarding the record layer, um, you know, it's an auxiliary to the decision layer. It will collect user states and the network conditions. And the workflow of ARFBM-based edge is as follows. 
is as follows. Well, when an HTTP request arrives at the edge, the edge server, it will be handled by the cache manager. Um, if the edge server stores the requested chunk, um, the content will be directly sent back to the user. Otherwise, the reinforcement learning agent will decide whether uh, to fetch the content from the origin server or just uh, respond with a substitute representation from the edge server. Um, well, in our work, uh, the throughput of delivering the same chunk under both cache hit and cache miss um, is necessary for the learning process. Uh, so I will also explain uh, the regression based throughput prediction. Uh, we utilize the Pearson correlation coefficient to um, confirm uh, the feasibility of throughput regression and the select variables for it. Uh, the left figure uh, illustrates the, uh, the correlation coefficients of any two features and the dark or a lighter color indicates the stronger positive or negative correlation. And the table two and the table three present the regression efficiency of predicting MTP and HTP. Um, well, MTP indicates the throughput under uh, cache miss at the client, uh, while HTP means the throughput under cache hit at the client. Um, to balance uh, mean square arrow and convergence time, uh, finally, we choose LGBM to predict the throughput under cache hit and the cache miss, uh, which is helpful to a more reliable bitrate selection. Um, with the predict uh, predicted throughput, uh, we can use the learning edge to make uh, the responding decision. Uh, uh, now uh, we, we, we will talk about the learning uh, model in the following. Uh, the fuzzy bitrate matching is trained by a synchronous advantage actor critic based reinforcement learning uh, that is A3C, uh, including the actor and uh, um, critic networks. Uh, the inputs include the currently uh, requested bitrate, the last requested bitrate, um, the, uh, the class side buffer occupancy. Uh, the throughput of downloading the last video chunk under a cache hit uh, and that uh, under a cache miss um, and the, the workload of the backhaul path. Uh, these features are uh, unified as a state vector. Um, and it's not that uh, the client side video players commonly evaluate ABR and algorithms to promote their own experience. So in our definition, uh, we consider uh, the QOE contents three parts, including the video quality, the bitrate uh, variation, and the rebuffering duration. Um, however, uh, you know, from the perspective of the edge server, uh, cache hit ratio it's also important for improving uh, the response efficiency and finally influence the user experience. So we define the reward uh, as follows. Um, also, uh, to improve the performance of LFBM, uh, we propose a LFBM based cache policy. Uh, we define, we, we redefine the utility as follows. Um, the VAR function is the uh, accumula uh, accumula uh, accumulative probability of a bitrate level uh, given by the neural network model. And when uh, the neural network chooses the action, uh, the function 
the function, the VAR function denotes the possibility of selecting uh, the corresponding representation. Hence, uh, the, uh, the LFBM based cache policy have the abilities to capture uh, the popularity and potential reward of content. Um, finally, we test the scheme in both the lab and internet environments. Um, the test bed in the lab experiment takes 2000 network traces at the, at the input from uh, FCC, HSDPA, and a self collected data set EC2P. Um, the bit rate of these representations include 350, 600, 1000, 2000, and 3000 kbps following the um, size distribution at the second figure shows, and different chunks with the same bit rate, uh, bit rate levels uh, vary in size. Mm, the CDF of RTGs uh, between the users and the edge is shown in the third figure. Uh, the RTGs are varied depending on the distance and uh, bandwidth between the user and edge. Besides, this distribution is proved credible in the modeling of video popularity. Therefore, uh, we assume the video popularity following the SIF distribution, uh, the client sends video requests with a probability in accord with video popularity at the fourth figure shows. Um, well, and in the lab experiments, the average bit rate of LFBM is 0 0.87 MPBS. And the bit rate variation of LFBM is moderate because it, it makes up for variation by reducing uh, rebuffering and increase and, and increasing um, cache hit ratio. Uh, as shown in table, uh, the average rebuffering time and uh, uh, QOE of LFBM is respectively uh, 0 0.004 and 0 0.74. Uh, which proves the best performance of, uh, of RFBM. Um, to further analyze the feasibility and performance of our scheme, we utilize uh, Amazon Cloud Service in Sydney and Virginia, uh, respectively serving as the edge and origin server. And in a real network, uh, RFBM also achieves good performance. Uh, the average bit rate is uh, 1.13 MPBS and the average rebuffering time is 0 0.03 seconds. Um, although the planet lab nodes are scattered, uh, which damage the efficiency or FPM, um, it still maintains a relative high hit ratio because of the intelligent value bit rate matching and is user experience is better than other scheme is 0 0.59. Um, to sum up, uh, we observe that the great volume of network traffic calls for the optimization uh, for adaptive video streaming. Uh, so uh, we propose the fuzzy bit rate matching to review its benefits from utilizing the cached contents. Then we design a learning-based fuzzy bit rate matching to decide whether to respond with a different representation of the requested video chunk. And the lab and in internet experiments validate the feasibility and efficiency of the proposed scheme. Uh, that's all about our work and thanks for listening and more suggestion. Thank you. And thank you very much for your presentation. Um, there is no question in the chat yet. Uh, well, I have uh, one or two questions. Uh, the, the first one is, uh, you are using reinforcement learning uh, yeah. as a 
I, as I understand it, uh, this is a technique that uh, has often uh, called start problems uh, when you are starting to learn uh, uh, with uh, very few data. Uh, it, it starts to well, it doesn't it doesn't behave very well uh, at the beginning. Uh, how many uh, uh, data did you have uh, to, to 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 for for, for learning? Uh, uh, with this model? Um, at, actually, it's, um, our data set is, uh, is a little huge. Um, uh, it can include maybe 10,000 uh, um, 10, uh, traces, uh, and it takes a, lit, um, lo a long time to converge it. OK. Okay, uh, so so <laughs> I have the opposite question. Uh, uh, let's say that there is some uh, video that goes viral or uh, some event that uh, changes the the habit of people uh, regarding uh, video content. Uh, for instance, they will all uh, want to to see a, a video taken from a smartphone with a very bad. Uh, um uh quality uh how would your uh your model uh, adapt to this um um sorry may i beg your pardon um i, I would say uh, if the there is some event that uh changes the people habit of uh, of uh, watching videos uh, for instance, uh, I don't know, maybe when server is down or uh, people want to, to look at a very small video taken from a smartphone, uh, would the, 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 your, your model be able to adapt to this and change their, their uh, bitrates uh, accordingly? Um, you mean uh, that uh, if our model can be fit into the uh, small, uh, the, the, the devices with uh, little compute, uh, computation resources like uh, smartphones? Not only this, uh, if it can uh, change uh, the, uh, the, the uh, how would I say, uh, the, 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 the cache sheets, uh, so that the, so that the cache uh, adapt to new uh, new habits of uh, seeing video. Um, y yes, um, but I think actually our model is offline at first, and it will be updated um, regularly. Um, but uh, it may take a long time, may, like hours. Okay. Okay, I understand. Yeah, well, yeah, thank you. <laughs>